everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Texas, EA Sports presents 12 When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Tyson's opponent here is not known for being a guy that can really go deep into fights. Doesn't have a lot of stamina. Well, Mike may make that very easy and good marriage for him. Yeah, that works perfect for Tyson because that probably means that his opponent is going to come out fast. He's going to be desperate early. He knows he can't go late. And Tyson loves to get a guy early. A well-targeted classic one-two by Raging Bull. Tyson's able to avoid that punch. Halfway through this round here. Mike Tyson's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here Joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back well off the mark by raging bull Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. You see how effective, you see how much you can control the fight with a jab. That was well done by Mike Tyson. Nice work. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Solid left hand to the head. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Halfway through round number two. Tyson's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Watch the body. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. He was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it, the counterpunch by Mike Tyson. Right. Mike Tyson's right. got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Okay, listen, you can throw him one. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Solid. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down.
down for the first time tonight, but you can see he's ready to make up for it here. Yeah, just a little bit of water in the basement, not a full flood, but if he doesn't want those pipes Come to burst, he better figure out quick why. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. A stabbing right hand comes in by Raging Bull. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Raging Bull swinging and missing. Mike Tyson's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. The left hand coming into play by Raging Bull. He is swinging for the fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. Not able to connect with the uppercut. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Oh! Raging Bull's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. shines tonight a TKO victory and his confidence is floating it is rising by the moment he will go in the ring the next time a more sure fighter than ever before a yeah, good one for the fans glad you tuned in to see it with us I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us